If you look up into the blue sky, I'll tell you stories that are sure to amaze. If I had not seen with my might think that I was just going through a phase. But when it all checks out, yeah, the newsmen, they'll say that by accident I say wasn't anything you wouldn't do. All I did was lay down, cry, and then pray. Butterflies lend me your Butterflies send all our fears to that place. You always go down in El Rosario. Then just like that, well, I became so light. So I took to the air with incredible ease. I had become a bright orange kite. Then the most beautiful voice could 
century is gone yet remarkably near if you will listen Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the music, and um, I hope you're hearing the music. I hope, I hope this is working. I better check. Are the messages different? Let me see here. Are we live? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, I was afraid. Okay, um, so uh, this is a new setup. And um, the great Gregoire Marais was supposed to make it this weekend, but he, he was held up and uh, had to reschedule. So um, we will uh, we'll find a date for the great Gregoire Marais, wonderful, wonderful uh, musician, harmonica player. If you guys, you, you must be familiar with him. I mean, played with Herbie Hancock, Pat Metheny, um, pretty much everybody my favorite musicians and uh, anywho uh, as we say um, I hope you're doing well and safe and um, we're actually gonna do something also a little different after this Jesse maybe you can um, give that uh, that link to we're gonna do a little zoom I really want to want to see people again <laughs> Uh, I have seen some people during during the pandemic and but um the audience wise and so we're gonna try something in fact maybe maybe if you guys will indulge for a second maybe I'll, I'll give you a little music a little trans transition music and we'll figure out a way to get the audience up on the screen this would be incredible so it's a zoom link Jesse can you do that and and t text me on this thing because I don't even have Facebook up here so but uh, the zoom thing should work <laughs> 
let's see if we can get it going. And I'll, I'll give you a little, uh, a little uh, transition music. Play some transition music, I suppose, but I have to, I have to go to Zoom here. Give me a sec here. I can tell a joke, but I don't really want to go through it. Uh, goodness, where is it? I had all kinds of ideas. Let's see. Okay, so the Zoom link is up. All right, so we're going to just try this. Let's see if we can get everybody on screen here. This is incredible. So I have this big screen on the wall, and um, we'll see if this works. I mean, we're, we're, we're live streaming. Anything goes, right? I mean, I have, a, I have, I have this, this guy here i mean that proves that anything pretty much goes okay hold on see you on zoom audience okay let's see if this meeting has started i guess i have to start it oops want to see faces. Corey's up. Hold on. Wait for it. Hey, Corey. You're the first customer. You win a spaghetti dinner. Okay, hold on. Corey, do you mind if, well, you guys, you guys are signing up. I mean, you're in the audience, so you're going to go on screen here. So okay with that? I, I assume we're all okay with that. If not, it's, it's, we'll, we'll do a chat soon here. There's too many tripods around this joint. Hold on. Hold on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Here's the, here's the, here you go. Well, you should hear me on uh, Facebook still. I'm not going to go on Zoom. Uh, I don't know if you've got two, two instruments at the same time here, but that's what we'll do. Let's Corey say, wave. We're just waving. Hi. You're the first audience. How's that feel? <laughs> first, first audience. This is incredible. Uh, but we're going to see, um, is there a gallery here? Let's see if we can get a gallery. Smoking. What? Matt? Ellen? What's going on? This is incredible. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? You're on the Facebook and the Zoom at the same time. Okay, this is incredible. See, I just want to say, um, so it's been obviously a long, can you guys, you know what, here. 
Can you all, oh man, look, we got a fellow, man, is that a Dalmatian? Okay, we're not gonna get too, I haven't abandoned the concert yet, guys, but maybe I have, maybe this is, this is better. So uh, are you guys listening, your eyes all listening to me on the feed and we're just gonna keep, we're gonna keep Zoom silent for the moment, yeah? That's all right, if you can all mute, you know, we don't wanna hear your stuffed animals barking. Um, but anyway, this is, this is crazy and I love it because so, so I've been playing these gigs, you know, uh, it's live streaming, no audience, can't see anybody, no interaction, not even sure if anyone is there. Um, and, uh, and, and Jesse, hop on Zoom, Jesse, with us so we know. And, um, but anyway, this is awesome. And uh, so it's just a matter of seeing faces again, you know, like uh, when we play live, obviously, there's an audience and you know, usually we're not having this kind of uh, a chat, but um, this is extraordinary times and uh, I super appreciate just this, you know. <laughs> Andy Mueller, what's his name? You can, you can put it in the chat. Hold on, I'll bring up chat. Hold on, this is a whole new thing. We'll get to that. Anyway, you maybe you can put it in the Facebook comments or whatever. If you have any questions, send them, put them on the, um, put them on the, uh, the Facebook comments and, and Jesse's going to text them to me because I'm, I'm, I've got like too many screens here and it's going to get just crazy. But anyway, this is awesome. You guys, you know, you can, I'd show you the big screen. Well, I will. Here. See yourselves seeing me and seeing you. Ellen, what's up? Oh, I see you guys now. Oh, that's you, Jesse. <laughs> Incredible. All right. All right, everyone mute. Everyone mute here, or unless I need to do that because uh, I don't want the music to feed back. So I wait because everyone can be muted by muted by. Uh, Jesse, tell me how to do that. That's on my phone. But anyway, nobody make any noise and turn off your speakers, please. Keep your headphones on. And then I'll play some more music. All right, that'd be cool. Here's a new song. Um, and I'll be right back.
Okay, now you can unmute and you can applaud. It's crazy. Well, I don't know if you can do that. But um, yeah, that was a that was a new song, you guys. And uh, gosh, I've been watching too many YouTube videos. Hey guys, everyone's a guy now. All right, ladies, thank you so much. Ah, uh, goodness. Um, I think I think we'll transition if this is gonna work. Um, I think what we'll do is, uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll chat. So we'll have a little, um, a little q and A. I I don't know how much I can uh, illuminate <laughs> about anything, but you know, if you guys want to ask questions about music or whatever, things that, uh, if there's any musicians out there and we talk about you know, things that we work on. I'm gonna take the reverb off my voice and, if, and in fact, Yes, let me take that off of my, of my mic and take these headphones off. Oh. One second. Okay, that's probably better. Awesome. All right. Well, this is an experiment, and um, I'm going to bring you guys over here. And uh, this is crazy. Let's just go ahead and set this up without falling down. All right. Okay, cool. Um, hey, Juliet, what's happening? <laughs> Um, I think there's like a four hour delay on all of this. Um, all right, so we're gonna go to chat. Oh man, I see somebody's got a, Marcia's got keyboard set up. Man, this is amazing. Um, all right, chat. Am I allowing chat? Does anyone just ask a question just for the sake of it? Uh, all right, hold on, hold on a sec. I'm gonna join audio. Okay, here we go. Darn it, I don't wanna pin myself. Hold on guys, there's too many taps to keep track of. One sec, one sec, I'll be with you in a second. All right, great, fantastic. All right, you guys should hear me on Zoom and um, I wish I could have you all, you know, on hey, hey everyone. All right, here we go. Somebody, you can even unmute if you want and ask me a question. It'll show up on Facebook about three hours later, but if you want to, or you can just stick it in the chat, but it's kind of, it'd be nice to just chat, like really talk, you know, like not, not, not text. No, I, hey, Jesse, how are you, man? Whoa, uh-oh. Please describe how I, ooh, dear. <laughs> Jesse, you trying to, Jesse asked, could you please describe how I stretched El Gaucho? It's 20 minutes. It's called, um, we, we do this in the business. We always say, uh, we gotta stall, do this. <laughs> we gotta stretch. Um, no, I appreciate that. Uh, I hope it was effective, um, you know, there's these beautiful themes by Wayne Shorter and uh, you know, one could argue what, what am I doing uh, playing it in such a stretched out manner? You know, like he wrote a song, play the song, right? Uh, that's, it's really kind of rude, you know, what you're doing. Um, but I think, I hope, Maybe Wayne would appreciate, you know, that uh, that his song is is taking twenty minutes. Because I mean, he he, pro he obviously spent longer than twenty minutes writing it. So I figure I should take a fraction of that, and you know, give it some respect. So anyway, that's my way of giving it respect. And I, I just love every sort of nook and cranny of his writing. So I mean, I could just play. 
I could just play, um, yeah, that, that little first, that's that first phrase, you know. And that could just be, that, that could become a symphony. I mean, it's just like, what's the difference between, okay, I'm going to go out on a limb. But just in terms of its purely musical, you know, without ever, whatever the development is. Okay, so you have. Okay. He stole that. Had one. You know. Okay, that's the second part. Okay, I'm, I'm stretching it now. But anyway, you get my point. Or, or maybe not. <laughs> I love Wayne Shorter. He writes beautiful melodies. And I will take as long as I need to to perform them. And, uh, and you know, frankly, he does too. I don't know how, you know, I mean, his band, uh, Zanilo, and, uh, and I mean, all his bands over the years, but Zanilo and, and Patitucci and Blade, Iron Blade, you know, these guys, incredible. So I, I love that way of music making that it seems that they're doing where you're abstracting isn't 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 really a f for me the fair fair term it, it, it's just like loving it you know <laughs> basically and and Wayne is such a universe that um, obviously when if you've ever gone if you had a chance to hear that band live or obviously if you've heard the recordings you you you, you hear just this, these universes, like everyone's like this planet and they're just like, you know, <laughs> circling everyone else. This, this is orbit going on, you know, or orbits, right? Away. And uh, anyway, that's as much as I can vamp. See, this is the stretching part. I should really think about these answers before I speak. Um, next question, okay, here we go. Uh, Come on, guys. We uh, any other questions? This new technology is new new to me. Um, by the way, can I just get a little applause? That I actually I set this up myself. I mean, look at this. This is crazy. That's nuts. The thing is, it's I love plugging stuff in. So it's I just love like, man. There's all these wires and there's all these components and I haven't plugged in everything to everything else yet. So we have to do that. And uh, <laughs> so I'm, I just love sort of maxing out the whatever you have. And I'm, I'm actually using, I'm amazed that this uh, DSLR camera, that is, it's probably going to burst into flames <laughs> in a second because it's been on for like an hour and a, in 15 minutes. And it's not supposed to do that. Um, I don't know how it's doing it, but it's probably going to be destroyed at the end of this. But anyway. Uh, weird uh question question all right i'm vamping this is really weird i'm not used to being a show host that way sure uh awesome sound could you talk a bit about how you're micing your piano yeah i will confess that it is kind of a hodgepodge of microphones honestly uh marcio um okay so i have i don't know if you can camera's not really, you can't really see it. But anyway, I have two ribbon microphones. They're actually quite inexpensive. They're, um, they're AR5s. I couldn't afford the AEAs, you know. Uh, those, are, those, are, those are out of my range at the moment, uh, or I didn't want them to be in my range, um, you know, because I wanted to buy food and stuff. Um, so then I have this old microphone that a friend of mine, Katsu, I showed up this at this recording session a um, long time ago. Uh, it was a Bill Stewart record date. We were doing it. He had this trio with um, Larry Golding, a two keyboard project and drums. And uh, he tried selling that project. I hope you won't mind me telling you. He tried to sell that thing to somebody, and they were like, why would you do that? Why, why, would, you, why would you have two keyboards and, and, and drums? So that obviously didn't sell, but he just released it himself. And um, anyway, 
so anyway, I showed up at the studio in New York. I think it was, man, way back. I want to say it was at Clinton Recording, which is an incredible studio. I made, I made a, one of my old Blue Note records there. Um, incredible piano. In fact, that piano, see, one story always leads to the next in this. I'll get around to it. So this piano was the Columbia piano. So you know, kind of blue, that sound, that piano, like Bill Evans played that piano. And so I, you know, you sit down and you play it, and uh, I incredible. Um, so anyway, long story short, H. Bot, what's going on? Uh, man, your beard's growing in, brother. I like it. Whew. Um, okay, so getting around to the microphone. So you had these microphones there, and there was this box on the floor, and they had they said Apex on them. And I was like, Apex? And they look like kind of chintzy boxes. And I was like, Katsu, what are these microphones, man? You're putting these on the piano? Not on my piano. And he's like, no, check it out. And so he recorded with them. They're called Apex 460s. And this is like, I think, among the first editions of these microphones. I, I think they've updated them. And, and, and Katsu gave me uh, a new tube to upgrade it with. And so I figured out how to do that. Um, so anyway, I have actually just one of those at the end of the piano to kind of pick up some bass. So that's really, that's it. You may have been picking up some mic, some, some of this room mic that's over the, um, over the cymbal, which, so this is a really nice mic that I, I got. It's basically, I can't see it with the light, but anyway. Uh, oh, well, there, there, you heard that click. That was finally the Nikon switching off. That's good. That means we're not going to have a fire. Um, and uh, so you might have been picking up some room sound with this warm audio. It's like a U47 replica, you know? And I, I do vocals on this thing at home, and it's just beautiful. And um, they're affordable, and um, hmm, yeah. Maybe they'll be my sponsor next, next time. Warm audio, you guys listening? Hello? Okay. Uh, great. Oh, there's the rep right there. Okay. I'll give you my address after for all the microphones you're going to send me. Okay, great. Uh, next question. Uh, chat. This is really fun. All things considered, how are you feeling as a fellow musician without gigs for nearly a year? Uh, your, music, your weekly music has kept me inspired. Thank you so much, Corey. Man, thank you. Ah, uh, it's such a kind of long story, um, Corey. Um, it's like, obviously, I miss I miss playing music with my friends. You know, um, that's why I started inviting people up here to come up. You know, the last couple of weeks, uh, we started with Mir Felder, and then and then Chris Potter, and then Larry uh, Grenadier came over, and um, uh, and um, so I miss it. it I, I miss my friends, of course. I miss I miss the interaction of, of playing music with with other folks, and um, and I want to say at the same time um, that you know I I'm kind of a uh, I don't know what you would call it. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty I, I'm pretty introspective as a person. You know I'm I'm kind of I can be, I, I don't have much of a problem being alone um, for long stretches. Um, but so, so it's, it's a, and it's actually been kind of nourishing in a way for me. The, the life of, uh, a life of the musician is, you know, as, as you can imagine, is one of, it's very ungrounded, you know, ungrounding to be flying around. And I'm not meaning, that this is by no means a complaint of like all the incredible places I get to go and be and taste the incredible foods and you know it's a total blessing not to mention p do what i love i mean so all that aside you know it's hard work to to, to travel i i i tend to th thrive i do well with routine i do well with um you know i do yoga i do 
you know, other kinds of things, meditation. I mean, th these are all things I can do on the road. I bring my yoga mat and all that. But just in terms of, you know, being in one place for a ex an extended period of time, even if I'm, on, if I'm on the road and I have a stretch, even a week, say I'm in a, uh, um, Ger somewhere in Switzerland or Germany or something, where we're doing a week at a, at a jazz club or, a, or, you know, some kind of venue, um, it's grounding for me. And I'll, you know, I'll go for runs and uh, walks and I'll explore the local, um, I'll find sort of the nearest forest, generally, and I will walk it. I will forest bathe, as the Japanese say, and uh, it's, it's very nourishing. But so, so but, to, to, but to have regular sleep, <laughs> and you know, for the most part, um, being home, routine, it's, you know, it's been sort of emotionally, spiritually, whatever you want to call it, like psycho-spiritually, uh, you know, I've, I've been able to do some, some kind of work in a way that I've wanted to do on a number of levels, creatively, um, yeah, and all these other areas, health-wise, you know, eating regular, uh, cooking, I mean, just being able to cook my own food for an extended period of time, it's, it's very nurturing, you know, it's very, it's very good, uh, as you say, self-care, and uh, I, I love doing these things, and uh, so, um, but at the same time, I'm, you know, whenever it happens, I am, I'm prepared to return to, to that within measure, <laughs> you know, and I hope we can all do everything more consciously and smart, smartly, and, uh, um, you know, taking, taking things into account in terms of what, you know, the world needed seemed like the planet needed a little break from all the uh, fossil fuel, you know, all the airplane exhaust or whatever the heck's going on there. Um, but just, just I think, I think a pause for the cause, as we say, you know, I think is obviously it's, we don't want it to happen this way, you know, with all this loss. Um, but if we can make lemons, lemonade out of lemons, sort of a thing, uh, and, uh, find ways to uh, to grow through this. I mean, I'm sure we will anyway, but it's, it's not easy. So thanks for that question. Yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, I haven't talked to Pat in a while. Someone was asking about uh, my, my friend Pat Zimmerly. Um, and uh, <laughs> um, it's been a minute. Yeah, he's living in France. And um, I, uh, we haven't spoken in a little while, um, but, you know, he's always busy writing really cool music. We actually did a record not too long ago um, for the really cool vinyl label called uh, Nouvelle, and they're partly in, in, in France. I have one partner's in France and the other's um, in uh, Boston area, or Boston itself. And Pat wrote some really nice music, and we recorded it. And uh, yeah, you guys should check that out. I mean, it's it's only out on vinyl, so you got to get your record players out. And uh, I did one record for them for under my own name um, w uh, with Lionel Lueke, and um, it's uh, so we had it on the vi on that vinyl label, and then it came out um, a couple years later. Um, not, not even yeah, maybe it was two years. Um, on Edition Records, uh, a really great label out of London, um, which a lot of you may be familiar with. Um, and uh, so anyway, uh, that's, that's, that's as far as I know. In terms of Pat, we got to say hello. Yeah. Um. That's a really good question, Matt. Um, maybe you guys can all see that. Do you have any plans or desires to continue doing online things, as events, once everything goes back to normal? Thanks for the music. Um, I, I think so. I mean, honestly, again, sort of speaking around uh, w my temperament, um, in terms of not, not minding being home, um, you know, 
we were all sort of forced into this, getting our technology stuff together, you know, buying a, buying a camera or just using our phone, you know, in this way more, especially you know, for musicians. Um, and um, just in terms of, you know, this, this was kind of due already. I mean, I, I, I'm pretty late coming to s even like being more active in s on social media. It's not, um, it's not something I take to naturally. Um, it makes me kind of anxious, actually. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Um, th there's just a lot there. I mean, I think we can all agree that this is a mixed bag, this whole social media thing. It's, w you know, in theory, I mean, I don't have to go off on this, but I will. Uh, no, I, uh, I think that, um, I think it's a wonderful connecting thing, but I also think that it, um, I think it has, I think it has some negative aspects, you know, um, I mean, yeah. Can you trash Facebook as you're making a show? <laughs> I don't think you can do that. But what are, where else are we going to go, you know? Well, that's what we're finding out. There may be other options and, uh, or, you know. If there's if there's if there could be better uh, ethics and behavior, and you know, if they don't collect absolutely every piece of information that I, that would be nice. But you know, I'm also offering it up, so I gotta, you know, there's some responsibility. I mean, you know, I send we send letters in the post office. We're assuming they're not opening our letters. We hope. There's too much mail. Anyway. But yeah, I do. I do plan to. And there's really, there's incredible technology. I mean, I think it's, obviously, it's the future. I mean, you know, I just um, was talking to folks at Steinway, and they're, you know, they've got this instrument that you can, I mean, it's all rigged up MIDI, and you can, you know, they can stick one of a Steinway in Tokyo, and I can play here, and it will play there the same way <laughs> at the same time. Um, which is pretty cool, you know, as far as it goes. Virtual touring, I guess you'd call it, you know. What would they do? I guess they would move the piano around if I could stay home. <laughs> okay, we're going to, Hokus you know, we're going to Osaka today. Um, but I don't get to have all that great food, so that's the trade-off. You know, I guess I'd have to order in or something uh, for, a diff every, for every, every country. <laughs> That'd be fun. Anywho. Uh, but I, I am excited to, I to integrate this thing with touring and, you, you know, I think there's obviously so much potential with our digital world. I mean, it should come along, you know, but w you know, it doesn't have to remain the same. And, and particularly because, <laughs> sorry, some, I'm supposed to have my phone on mute there. Someone was calling. All right. Well, that was made public. Sorry, Danny there. Danny boy. Uh, I don't know how I mute that. I should really not be getting calls right now. I have do not disturb. That'll be the next function I'll work on. <sighs> My dealer won't call. I don't have a dealer, by the way. And I don't have him labeled. I wouldn't have him labeled dealer anyway, would I? Although you never know. Sometimes you forget, I guess. Who, anywho, uh, we should move on. Um, Next question. Come on, Harry, ask a question. Help me out, man. Get me out of this mess. Come on, Harry, tap into the... You can unmute if you want, Harry. Let's try, a, let's try a verbal, an audible. Can you unmute? Harry? Oh, let's see if I can hear you. Hold on. Harry, say something. No, no, it's not. It's not working. Y I think because I've got this plugged into this whole system, it's not. F it's not funneling auto audio. Just text, tap it in. Text, text me. I can't hear you, Harry. It, you're completely muted. At least, at least as far as I can hear. Can you guys hear him? I can't. You can. Uh oh, weird. All right, hold on, hold on. Maybe I need to join audio. It's just a regular Zoom call, for God's sake. I'm going to also enable original sound. All right, hold on, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I'm connected to audio. But I think it's because I'm plugged in. I'm, I'm streaming all this to, the, to Facebook. It's, this is going through a lot of things. So 
That's the reason I can't hear you, unfortunately. So you can type it in. Anywho, nice to see you. And uh, somebody type it in for him anyway. That would be good. I can't. I don't know if I, we should stretch this anymore. If there are no more questions, I'm gonna have dinner. I, th I guess I think that's it. And I don't want to make it people on Facebook suffer this thing any any more than they have to. Anyway, this is cool. This is successful. It's like pretty cool to have all these faces and like, you know, I'm thinking about the next maybe next week, just sort of incorporating this in and finding a way to play and. You know, we got at least uh, some faces on the screen because it, it makes a big difference uh, rather than playing to, uh, uh, I don't know who, <laughs> you know, have a sense of the, uh, the makeup of the audience. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So anyway, I don't know. I don't really have much else to say, but I, I, I don't, uh, next week is pending, um, trying to find, uh, a fun uh, duo to play next week. Um, thanks, you, you guys, so much. And uh, there's there's a little contribution. There's a little bucket. I don't know, digital buckets. Uh, the 55 bar. They have this really banged up uh, tin bucket, water, whatever. I wouldn't drink water out of that thing uh, at this point. But um, cash goes in it. So yeah, if you want to give, you know, and uh, you know, we're taking uh, Visa, Mastercard, uh, Ether. Actually, it has just become available as a. If you've got enough gas in your vehicle, you can you can send me some Ether. Um, and uh, otherwise, um, PayPal, Venmo, all that stuff. I I super appreciate it. Uh, oh yeah, thank you very much. PayPal, friends and family, if you have the opportunity. Um, the link that I sent is, is yeah, I don't know how to do it. It's the link, just that, whatever, I'll figure it out. But yeah, if there's a way to do that, that would be awesome. But, you know, it's a few cents. And, um, but super appreciate it. And um, this, I would say, was successful. And uh, this is a lot of wires, a tremendous amount of wires. Uh, I have to crawl actually underneath the piano to get out um, of this cave. Um, but it was super fun. And uh, thanks, you guys, so much for, for hanging out and listening. I promise it'll be better, even better next time. Um, you know, I'm 50% of my attention is on the, uh, on the electronic uh, communication things. But I figured, actually, to just make it part of the show, you know, I figured I'm switching cameras. That's just I'm playing a bass line or I'm doing this, and I'm going to switch cameras because it's more interesting from this angle. But it's also kind of part of the I could create a little thing, you know, a little architecture. You could see you could see the thing, you know, behind the scenes. So I've spoken enough. Anywho, great to see you all. Be well, and uh, 